Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Victoria Physics. In this video, I'm going to discuss about non-inverting amplifier operation, practically how it works. And since uh, we are locked on at home due to COVID-19 and we are unable to have regular practical classes in college, so I'm just trying to provide you some glimpses of as to how a non-inverting amplifier works uh, practically. So uh, this is a virtual environment and it will just provide you some concept regarding the operation of a non-inverting amplifier. I hope you people have some concept about the theoretical part of this uh, non-inverting amplifier and if you want to just recapitulate your knowledge on this just go to the description box below and you'll find there links of my other videos explaining uh, the features of inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier and other practical experiments also uh, done in this virtual environment so just uh, to uh, begin our construction and need to say something about this this is an op amp and this is the non-inverting terminal and this is the inverting terminal we are doing non-inverting amplifier so so we require to connect the input signal to the non-inverting terminal that is pin number three you people should always remember the pin number so that you connect the uh, op amp uh, correctly Fine, so this is pin number two over here. You are able to see that there are a combination of uh, two resistances which are required for this negative feedback arrangement. And the gain of this non inverting amplifier is provided by this expression 1 plus R1 by R2. Suppose if I take R1 as 10 kilo ohm and R2 as 1 kilo ohm, then my gain, co gain comes out to be as uh, 11 times. Okay, so just uh, let us construct and see the nature of this interesting non-inverting amplifier. So we are beginning with uh, a right click, go to place component, make this to all groups okay and then scroll slowly to op amp part here we are over here in component part just write down 741 which is the ic number of the op amp that we are going to use over here click okay now place your op amp somewhere around here. We don't need any more op amps, so close this part. Next, we require two resistances, as you can see in the adjoining figure. So again, go to place components. Make this to basic. Scroll down. You find resistor over here. Click. Okay, bring one resistor around this part. We require another resistor, so click OK. Keep that resistor somewhere around here and close this. Since we don't require any more resistances, we just close back that part, okay? Now over here, you find uh, we need a ground connection. So again, right click, go to place components and Make this part now to sources. Scroll this. Go below. You get ground. OK. 
click OK. Place the ground somewhere, say around here. Click close. Fine. Now uh, we need uh, to have an input signal. So for that, we are going to use a function generator. Just at the side of this, there are multiple uh, programs given. So you just see where your function generator is and click that. Bring your function generator over here. For the output, we require an oscilloscope. So this four channel oscilloscope is not required. So we just require normal two channel oscilloscope. Bring that around here, place it. Now slowly begin your connection and very carefully you do this. Uh, just start from here. I'm connecting this ground to one end of R1. Okay, the other end of R1 goes directly to pin number two. Follow the joining figure as well. Now R2 is connected to this part and the other end is connected to the output. Okay, we are done this part. Now input goes to pin number three directly. So from this function generator, take the input directly to pin number three. Fine. Bring the common connection from this part over here. I hope up till now it's quite clear to you. Now, in this oscilloscope, we have two channels. One would be required for the input, one for the output. So I'm connecting channel A to the input part. Click over there, okay? So I'm I have connected channel A to the input and channel B I'll connect to the output fine what else is left out now uh, we'll connect this uh, part to the common connection so just connect over here and this also connected to this part okay now again go to Place component, go to sources, scroll downwards. Over there you'll see VCC. Click OK. Place VCC around here. You need VDD as well. So click OK. Place VDD somewhere around here. We don't require any more components. So just close this part. Now VCC is connected to pin number seven of the op amp and VDD is connected to pin number four. I hope we are done with this uh, connection. Now change the value of R1, okay? Suppose I consider this R1 as three kilo, okay? Or something went wrong. It's extended a bit. It's not showing over here. So click over here. You can click this part as well. Make this three kilo.
okay so now change this values make this r1 to be say around three kilo and r2 say around six kilo okay why i'm changing like this so that i can see the gain over here now my r2 over there over here is actually r1 over here and r1 is actually the r2 over here so if you calculate then it comes out to be one plus six by uh, three that is three times that means the gain would be three times so we'll check that after uh, just running this uh, entire circuit now over here in this vdd click there make that minus 12 volt click ok make vcc also plus 12 volt okay make the signal generator as sine wave let us make the frequency to be a say around 100 and I'm just uh, lowering this to one. I hope uh, this picture is quite clear to you. Now let us see how the nature comes out. So just click on the oscilloscope, place somewhere around here and click on run. So a nice graph is coming. Now let us change the channel division so that you understand in a better way. Okay, I just move this to over here. Fine, let me stop this so that I can explain you. Uh, this is actually the input channel which is passing through one complete square. And this is your output channel, which is passing through three complete square. Okay. So this only uh, makes you realize that the gain is three times that of the input signal. So also see here that uh, your input and output are in phase with each other okay they are in phase with each other that means they are not inverted which happens in case of inverting amplifier you have seen in my previous video it actually got reversed to 180 degree out of phase uh, but over here the two signals are in phase with each other so just to make you realize in a better way click on this channel b go to segment color click on say any of the color of your choice and rerun it so you can see the changes so the red signal is your input signal and the green signal is your output signal which has gained uh, amplified to three times so I hope uh, this is quite clear to you. Now, just uh, install Multisim at home. It's quite please easy. And uh, practice this uh, non-inverting amplifier at home. If you like this video, then do give it a like and share it among others so that other students also get benefited. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you get uh, notice of my upcoming videos as soon as I upload it. Okay, so stay home and stay safe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.